Hi, BEH students, families, and staff. This is Ms. Turner, uh, just checking in with everyone. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, and now it's time to get back to business. Uh, we have a wonderful week coming up. I'm super excited about this week because this is our spirit week. This is a time where we get a chance to just express ourselves, uh, share how we feel and just have fun. And so I just wanna make sure that everyone knows that um, for each day of the week, we have a themed day. Um, so tomorrow will be our pajama day. You can wear pajamas, or if you don't feel comfortable wearing pajamas, you can just wear you know comfortable sweats or just come you know to school virtually with just you know what you feel most comfortable in. Uh, Tuesday is our Marvel Day. You can wear your favorite costume or your favorite hat or a shirt that represents your favorite character uh, from Disney or whatever you feel like you want to wear that is appropriate to that day. Uh, Wednesday, we have our favorite team day. So if you play a sport or you like a particular sport, you can rep by wearing either a t-shirt or some kind of shirt that has a logo that represents that team or that sport. Um, for Thursday, we are uh, representing our family day. So that day is a day where you can gather up as many people as possible and uh, just have fun together, wear, wear the same shirt, the same uh, outfit, and then sing your song um, and just have fun with it, okay? And then Friday is our empathy day. And everyone knows that we, um, for each week, we are going through and we're talking about our toolbox, um, our social emotional learning tools. And one of the tools is empathy. So this week is our empathy week. And just remember to really be thinking about that and how we respond to people when you know they're going through things that it's important to um, have that empathy. And so that day, what we'd like for you to do is make a video of yourself doing the empathy tool box gesture and tagline from our community. Uh, meetings or tell a story of how you practice empathy this week. So that's basically it. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, a couple other things that you need to know um, for our K2 students, uh, you will go in and create a flip grid as well as our three, five students will go in and create a flip grid. Um, but the tricky part is, is that you got to make sure that you are creating the flip grid using the correct code. Uh, otherwise you will be in the wrong grouping. So if you notice right here, it says pre-K second grade uh, and your code is 8CCFE10D, okay? And then for our third through fifth graders, your code is 4BD07F1A. So you gotta make sure that when you go in to create a flip grid, you have to be in the right grouping or that will not, um, it will not work, all right? Um, hopefully everyone understands how this works. Um, again, students are encouraged to dress up as well as our staff. Um, feel free to be involved and just have fun. Uh, and we also encourage you to get your families a part of this too. So it's not just students. Um, and that's the beauty of a virtual uh, school is that we can you know, do this together and we can have fun together as a school community. So I'm hoping that you guys uh, are enjoying yourselves. And again, I look forward to seeing all of the different costumes and repping for your favorite teams and singing your favorite songs together as a, a family and as a group. All right, everyone, I will see you starting tomorrow. Take care.